Guru Nation, welcome back to another quick, 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 quick video. All right. Yesterday, Chris and I were filming our, we're redoing all the CRA Academy modules to give it a 2022 feel uh, to them. So yesterday we did interim monitoring visits for the CRA Academy. And one of the analogies I came up with is how, do, how does a CRA, how does anyone for that matter, CRC, CRA, PI, anyone keep order of the hierarchy and research so for example what happens when protocol doesn't match up with the sops of the site or what happens when there's a discrepancy between gcp and protocol gcp and sops there's a hierarchy to things guys and gals and in research think of it like three umbrellas okay you're always walking out of the uh, house with three umbrellas not one not two but three umbrellas in clinical research because it's raining crazy every day in clinical research, raining opportunities, raining activity. The biggest umbrella is good clinical practice, GCP. That covers everything. That's the primary umbrella on the hierarchy. The one underneath GCP is the protocol, the second umbrella. And the last one is the SOP for the site, okay? So that's the hierarchy. Whenever there's a discrepancy, you gotta look, the biggest umbrella is GCP. So whatever GCP says is what we do. Within GCP, because GCP is vague, okay? Sponsors create protocols. Within those protocols, because sponsors create them for a bunch of different sites to follow, there is site SOPs. All right, so that's the hierarchy. And when you are a CRA, you are making sure the site is following all three of those umbrellas, that they're being protected by all three of those umbrellas at the same time. Are they following GCP? Are they following the protocol? Are they following their own SOPs? Same thing when you're a coordinator, it's the same exact thing, okay? Am I following GCP? Am I following the protocol? Am I following the SOPs? If there's ever any confusion about what's more important, let that be. Let there be no confusion. It's good clinical practice. So hopefully this helps. Wanted to make a quick short one for you guys. Let me know what you think. Talk to you later.